Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to um, talk about uh, OpenVPN, a self-hosted uh, VPN. Uh, everyone, know, everyone knows about uh, uh, other uh, famous VPNs in the markets. Uh, why you are using VPN, you are using it to uh, connect securely to other networks online or to hide our IP address. So, uh, I was using before internet private uh, and private internet acts and it was a good one uh, they have a good pricing um, there are other ones in the market like Express VPN it's a good one also but in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your own VPN how to host your own VPN then connect to it uh, in this video I'm going to install OpenVPN as a software uh, they offer they give you two uh, license for free for two users but if you want you can uh, buy more um, I'm going to install OpenVPN on DigitalOcean DigitalOcean can give you uh, 10, uh, 10 dollars um, for free when you open your uh, uh, new account so I'm going to, to leave the, the link on the description so you can use it when you click on the link you will get 10 dollars and I will get also 10 dollars back uh, okay, so at the beginning, I'm going to um, go and uh, click on create droplets. Then I'm going to go and uh, click on custom on marketplace. Sorry, and the marketplace we're going to search about OpenVPN. Here we are. We have it. So we will install OpenVPN Ax server and I'm going to install it on a basic plan on $5 a month so it, it will have 1 gigabyte, 25 gigabyte SD disk and uh, 1000 gigabyte transfer. Um, I'm going to install it in New York. You are free to install it in, in any um, data center you want. You can install it in San Francisco or in Toronto, wherever you want. So um, I'm going to use my own CSS keys. Uh, if you want to use uh, IPv6 uh, network, you can use it. So I'm going to select all. I don't know which one I'm using right now. Uh, I think I'm using this one. So. Uh, you can, if you don't have your CSH keys, you can just go and click create a password. So you can connect with the password. Okay, so I will have one one droplet with, I will leave the host name um, like this for now. And I don't need a backup. If you want, you can pay $1 a month for a backup in case there is something happening with your droplets. So create droplets. It will take one to two to three minutes to uh, create the droplet for you. Then you, we can uh, ask our droplet and we will start creating our account. We'll wait for uh, some minutes. Let's click on it. Uh, here we go. So, it will be ready in a few uh, minutes. Oh, it's ready. Okay, so now we have our uh, droplets. Our server is ready, our open VPN. So I click X, then I will launch the cancel. Uh, you can use your own CSH if you want. So uh, normally here, login it will be um, uh, root. Okay, uh, hold on a second, because I, I will not use the um, Digital Ocean Droplet Cancel. I'm going to, to use my own because, uh, I, if you remember, I choose to use my CSH keys. So in this case, I'm going to um, use my terminal, or is it it's here? So I will go and create new profile. Okay, let's do it. It is profile, and I'm going to create a new profile for it. So let's name it Open VPN, and this is the IP address. We will log in by root, and we'll put it just here. I have my keys connected in my computer here. 
if you don't know how to create your key so you need to go back and create keys in order to access this one so that's it so now i'm going to double click on it and this will open automatically here we go so uh, yes okay should tape yes okay uh, i have a password on, on my keys so i will put the password and here we are okay there are some um information you have to accept here and configuration so i'm going to go and follow the configuration yes um please enter uh, yes and for default uh, click enter i uh, click enter again for the port default and also click enter for 443 for https click enter also we will click enter enter also do you wish to log in with the admin a uh, open vpn okay correct and please specify your activation key i will specify it later i click enter and that's it it will start and uh, start uh, configuring my uh, open vpn server for me at the end we will ask for the password uh, as you know the, the username which will be uh, by default uh, uh, it will be open vpn so uh, the password will ask for it at the end we will use the same um with, this is our admin panel so we will log in like this but before that i'm going to um just uh i will put this here and other screen then i will go and open um safari then i will go and in this case i will just copy and paste the link of my own driplet leave it like here so so hold on a second i will put the the link here it will ask me about uh this is connections not private it's okay because we are using here https and we don't have the csl inside our um droplets our open vpn so i click you can visit it here visit website and it will ask you about your um, computer password in order to give him permission to visit, to visit the website okay now uh, as we know open open vpn as the username but we don't know the password in this case we are going to generate password by uh, asking the system about this i'm going to create just type password open vpn and hold on a second uh, not that one yes there is a mistake here let's write it down okay uh, sorry it was a mistake at the beginning so I have to put uh, to type P A S S W D open VPN this is the correct one now it's asking you to 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 create your own password I'm going to create mine again and that's it so now if we come back here and we type, type our new password save it for now i agree here we go so we have here our open vpn uh server so what we, what we need to do now is to get the activation key uh, i you just click on the activation key here it will, it will open another tab you need to open an account with them if you don't have it so i have an account before so i will go and click sign in if you don't have an account just click sign up sign in okay okay this is my account sign in and it will give me my access okay i am in so let's i, I may i may just go and uh, delete the the keys i have here so i can replace because i have this for another server just i click here then i come back to my open vpn uh, activate I need just for free 
activate activation key and this is my subscription key I just go and uh, copy uh, do not share this key with someone else I will go and delete it after so I come back to my server activate and that's it it's activated perfect so now I have two connection connections at time I can connect to my server so I can if I share it this one with another computer we can connect together at the same time but if you want to 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 make more connection I have to go and buy a license a license from that so you can go and play around with the, the uh, all the information, server information here, user management. If you want to add another user, we have OpenVPN. This is the, f the first user, but you you can add another user if you want by typing here and go. But in this case, if you add more than two users, you have to to buy a license. So we'll go now and download OpenVPN uh, client so we can use it with our computer you can use it by the way in your cell phone if you want to change so if you go and type open vpn client download this will give you directly to download it so uh, we have for windows and we have for mac so just go there and uh, download it so just click download open vpn and you will download this there is a version for mac for linux for windows after you download this i have a mac here so um, i have it already installed and i'm already i'm already connected to another server so what i can do now it's disconnected from another server and i will add new profile let's do it right now so i will use my ip address what is my ip address is the the one that I'm using to log in here. This is my IP address. It is the same IP address for the droplets for the server that you, which you created with um, DigitalOcean. So next, it will ask you about to accept it. Since it is a self-signed certificate from the server. What is the username? We see it from the beginning. This is the username and I created a password with the terminal and uh, connect after this one here after import it will connect to my server import let's type again the password and okay ah it's connected so this is our server IP address which is 165 and it is the same like the server so let's go on right now and let's say search about what is my IP address okay let's see now okay this is my IP address uh, 165227 and it is the same IP address of the server so now I'm connecting from New Jersey, from New Jersey in United States I'm actually I'm in Canada so but now right now I am in New Jersey. I am in New Jersey. Let's say if I disconnected from the server and let's act refresh again the page. Uh, websites. Okay. Let's refresh again the page. No thanks. Okay, as you say, this is the actual place I am in right now I am into Montreal Quebec Canada and this is my IP address but let's say if I activated again OpenVPN I am connected again let's refresh here we go we have our uh, the static IP address in New Jersey in the United States from DigitalOcean. That's how it works. So right now you have your own VPN. You don't need to go and pay for another company uh, to to have your own VPN. Uh, also, I'm going to pay five dollars a month for this VPN. So it's a monthly subscription and they have my own VPN. If you have your servers, you can use this one. It's a good one. 
Also, you have it in your, you can download the application in Android and in iOS. Uh, it's a good one. Go and use it. As I said from the beginning, there is, uh, click on the link below if you want to open an account on DigitalOcean, you will get $10. So you will benefit from two months, two months free, and they will get back $10 at the same time.